Hey, and welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this video, we are looking at the temporary view properties right here. We've got our temporary view properties down here at the bottom and what they do when it comes to manipulating views and everything like that. Before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something or you just like the video, anything, just demolish that like button. It really helps me out so much and I can't thank you enough. So let's jump into this right now. I'm in a basic project, nothing special here. It's just a basic Revit template. There's, again, nothing special here to work with. We're just looking at this temporary view properties button down here and what it does and how it can be useful to us. So if I look at it, I can click it and I see I have a few options. I can enable temporary view properties. I can temporary apply template properties, and then I can restore view properties, which is actually grayed out. So first of all, I don't actually have to select anything to do anything. Actually selecting an object wouldn't actually change how these work necessarily in the beginning anyways. So we can start by enabling temporary view properties. So as soon as I do that, I can see that I've got a border around my view. And every time you see a border around your view, just know that this is something that's out of the ordinary, it's different, it's often temporary. And you can tell what the name of it is up here at the top left and really what it's doing. So this is, again, temporary view properties. You can see the name right there. And so what is this doing for us? First, we need to define what view properties are. Well, view properties are everything that we see over here at the left and everything that has to do with visibility graphics. These are considered view properties. They're, they're specific to the view. And you'll know that because you can see visibility graphic overwrites for 3D view, and there's the name of my 3D view, and it happens to be called 3D view. So what is temporary about this? Well, the fact is that I can change really any value that has to do with visibility graphics and not actually have it permanently impact this view. And you might ask then, well, why would I want to do that? Does that make any sense? Uh, you know, I don't know. Well, okay, so the idea is that maybe, for example, you're in a 3D view, and this 3D view is going to end up in your documentation for documentation purposes. And maybe you want to deal with something specific when it comes to modeling something specific or viewing something specific, or maybe you're in a floor plan and you, you have, there's a bunch of garbage in the way and you want to see something and get down to the point where you're working with something small or something specific. Or maybe you have particular filters on that are just that, you know, make a mess out of the entire view and it's hard to view what's going on and understand. And all you want to do is use the view to change some sort of value or model something, change a model or something like that. Well, this is where temporary view properties come into play because then you have the option of greatly impacting the view properties temporarily, but then getting back to the original view after making some changes. So that's great. So let's go through some examples of how we might use that and how we might use the temporary view properties in a real world example. So again, I'm, I'm in the 3D view here, a, no special template or anything like that. And I've enabled the temporary view properties. So I'm gonna hit visibility graphics. And right now, because I haven't changed anything, this is gonna be, this is gonna be pulling from the view. So everything that I've applied to the view, I'm gonna have show up in the temporary in the view visibility graphics normally like it's all going to be taken from the view as it was before i turn the temporary view properties on for example i've got my parts turned off the mass is turned off none of that was changed just because i turned the temporary view properties on okay and if we look through here i've got no filters i've got a you know couple work sets but it's mainly let's f first focus on the model categories so what i can do is really affect the visibility graphics however I want. So I can start to like bulk hide any, any one of these different categories. I can change some of these overrides to different colors or really anything that I want to do. I can start to change some of the halftone, create some of the, uh, have some of the categories be halftone. I can do, really do absolutely anything that I want to do in visibility graphics here and have that, you know, override and scene in the view. So, okay, look at that. And now I can go back to visibility graphics and maybe we want the walls to now be uh, a red or something like that. So again, we can go and come in here, turn this on to red. And then now we have all of our walls showing up as red. Okay. And so the nice part about this is you're able to affect any sort of visibility graphics that you want, but on a temporary level. And I haven't displayed that it is actually temporary, but we are getting there. 
So at this point now, maybe I've, I want to look at things a particular way. I want to ha make some overrides. I want to highlight some elements, something like that. Okay, well, I've done that. And maybe I'm, I, I now no longer need my view to look like this because it needs to show up on a sheet for documentation in a more professional looking way. Well, again, I have temporary view properties on, and so let's turn them off. So now I can simply restore view properties. And as soon as I do that, everything that was the way it was previously in the visibility graphics is exactly as it was. There's no red walls. There's no half tone categories. There's no hidden categories. It's literally is the way that it was. And so that's perfect. That makes sense. It's easy to understand that. So here we are in our floor plan. And again, we can do the exact same thing with a floor plan when it comes to visibility graphics and temporarily changing those visibility graphics in a floor plan, just like we did in 3d. So, if you look at the left here, we can apply this view template, just plan construction. It's got our everything we might need for a typical floor plan applied, and we've got this template applied. Okay, so now whenever I hit visibility graphics, everything's grayed out. I can't change anything. I can't affect anything. I can't do anything here. I, I'm seeing my interior floors through this filter. I, I, there's there's nothing else that I can really do here. Now, this is where temporary view properties come into play exactly and this is where I use it a lot oftentimes this is why and how I'm using the temporary view properties so again we've got our view template on and we can't affect visibility graphics without coming in here and going and changing our view template to none and then finally going back to visibility graphics and changing things here that's a mess you don't want to have to do that and the idea is that you've applied a view template to a view and you don't have to take it off or change it all the time if you want to change what's going on in the view just for a second so that's where temporary view properties come into play. So I'm gonna enable those, and again, we're gonna see our border here. But you'll also notice that here at the left, my view template is now grayed out. And that's, that's fine, so what is this doing? That means that I actually have control over my visibility graphics because I'm not really applying the template. So I'm actually applying the template in a way to where everything in here is the exact same as the template just like in 3d it was the everything we saw in visibility graphics in 3d was taken from you know, taken and after we applied the temporary view properties it was all the same so after i've applied the view properties temporary view properties to the floor plan it's taking all of those properties from the view template and now i can choose to edit them so maybe what we want to do now is make all of these walls red. So I can go to walls. Again, we're going to go to the, the cut pattern, put it on solid and make it a red color. Okay. I can even come up to doors and maybe I want to half tone the doors. Perfect. So I can hit okay. And again, now we've got all our half tone doors. We've got our red cut patterns on our walls. So maybe there's a reason you want to make this. So you can actually print with this too. So if you wanted to make a view or take start with a view that you know that you need to print from but then apply all these different overrides to it you can print while you're in the temporary view properties and then just simply turn this off later and you don't have to worry about all this again but we can actually take this a step further so i've got a floor here and it's being shown by filter and i can actually while i've, I've got this filter on i could like I can apply all these different filters that I want to. I can I can see everything that they want to do. I can turn the the furniture off this way. I can hit OK. I can my furniture now goes away. I can come back in here. I can even just simply delete this, completely remove it, remove that filter completely, and get rid of all these different filters that we want to, and affect really filters in any way, and hit OK, and I can choose to show the filters or not so another reason i'd use the temporary view properties is there might be you might have someone on your project who's like filter happy and i honestly can't stand them because filters are while they're great they should be used sparingly because if you start having multiple filters they're just not going to play nice and having so many filters in one view is just chaotic and it's hard to understand if you didn't make them yourself so a lot of times what i'll do if if i can't see something or if i don't know what's going on then I will immediately turn temporary view properties on. I'll come into the visibility graphics and then just immediately select all of these and just remove them all. Just get rid of them all. And just to know that filters are no longer impacting the view at all. So I can see everything. I don't have to work, worry about anything like that. And so I do all the work I need to do then. And then great, I'm done. And now I can simply 
go back to the view the way it was and it's not going to have impact anything actually. And so once we're done doing what we need to do in this view, for example, if I have done something to the view, I can simply restore. And as soon as I restore it, it's going to get back to normal. It's going to look normal. Nothing is going to be weird looking. If I come back into the visibility graphics, you can see that the templates apply because everything is grayed out. My filter is back exactly the way it was. I don't have any extra filters, anything like that. I don't have any weird overrides on the doors, walls, or anything. It's all normal. It was temporary. That's great. That's perfect. It's very easy to understand. So that's why I would definitely use the temporary view properties. So going back into 3D, there's one more aspect to this tool that we need to look at. So I've got the temporary apply template to properties. So this, you know, what does this mean? Well, this is basically saying, do I want to, or like, do I have a template applied? Okay, maybe I do, maybe I don't, but maybe I want to temporarily apply a template and see what it looks like. You know, maybe I want to temporarily apply something else, some other template, see what it looks like. So I can simply hit temporarily apply template properties, and we're prompted with the view templates. Like, okay, you know, I wouldn't necessarily use a floor plan template for a 3D view, but you can because it's just another form of a view template. But so maybe we want to take this plan construction and see what it would look like applied to this 3D view. Well, I can hit okay. Great. And as soon as I do that, well, nothing really changes. But what does pop up is the temporary view properties. Again, I'm basically, I, I don't have a view template applied like actually to the view, but I can come in here and do whatever I want, just like we did before to the floor plan and the 3D view. I can do anything I want. So, but now you'll see that what is checked is this plan dash construction, and that is the view template. So coming up here, I don't actually have a view template applied. As you can see, it's grayed out and it says none, because that's kind of the way it was before. Whenever I had a view template applied and I turned the temporary view properties on, you could see that grayed out with the name. It just doesn't matter. They're not taking, with the temporary view properties on, I'm not taking into account the fact that I have or don't have a view template applied. So at this point, I can simply choose this or not. I can deselect that, and now not only do I remove my temporary view properties, but I actually still have the option of just simply clicking that again and, and seeing it in action. Very quickly, it takes these two clicks to get there. But maybe I decide I want another one. I want to look at see what it looks like another way. Well, I've got this 3D presentation, and this is actually a 3D view, and it's a view template. So I hit OK, and we can see that this dr drastically changes everything. It looks completely different because maybe this is set up more for a 3D presentation view, which makes sense from the, you know, the name of the view template. So what I have here again, I've got my recent templates, and I can just I can simply toggle between these two and see what this view looks like very quickly. That's a great way of using it. And so now once we've done that, we've got a couple other things to look at. Look at. We could always restore view properties. And as soon as I do that, again, that's going to take us out of the temporary view properties. Everything's going to go away, and I'm back to normal because I don't have any border, nothing like that. I love the fact that these templates stay here because I could simply go back to this really in any view. I can, come, I can come to this floor plan view and now see that I can quickly turn the 3D presentation on and see what it would look like with that view template applied in like two clicks without having to come up here and change the view template, find the view template, all that. It's just nice that it saves that for me and I can simply just restore and get back to normal. So that's gonna do it for temporary view properties in Revit. I find it very powerful. There's, there's really so much that you can do as far as temporarily showing and affecting views and affecting view templates that make it really easy to get down to an element, maybe change the way a plan looks or something like that just simply overriding all of your view templates and don't have to worry about that impacting what you can't see or anything like that. It just kind of, it removes the veil of what's going on with the view template. If you have any issues with that, you can just say, nah, forget it. So if you, if you did happen to learn something, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out so much. Also, please consider changing the fate of that subscribe button to existing. That also helps me out so much. And if you stuck around this long to the video, you're awesome. Thank you very much for doing that. Hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.